All right, guys, today is the day I've been talking about for quite a while. I keep saying I'm going to trim my beard shorter, and I have a little bit compared to what I, the, the, the beard that I had where it was uh, probably down to here. Um, if you have any questions about how long it actually was, go look at my Instagram profile photo, and uh, you'll see just how long my beard was. I have some other pictures on Instagram you can look at, too. All you have to do is search Greg Boswell on IG, and you'll find me you know, fairly quickly. Um, also... If you haven't uh, subscribed to this channel, please do so because I have a lot of other beard-related uh, videos that you're probably going to want to apprise yourself of and even non-beard-related videos that you might find stimulating or entertaining or educational. So there you have it. But, so today, I'm, what I'm going to do is I have no predetermined uh, length that I'm going to take my beard to. It's just going shorter. Now, I have a range uh, uh, which I'm going to work. But I wouldn't normally recommend that to you guys. I would, I would usually say, make sure you know exactly what you want before you start. Um, but I've done this so many times that um, I like playing around with it, which is the only reason why I'm really doing this. I get bored having a beard the same length all the time. It's just not fun to me if I can't play around with it and do different things with it. So um, I've taken it all different lengths. I have had different shapes, and I've got videos about that. So you can, uh, so you can look at those if you want to. But normally I would tell you, know what you want exactly for sure, but I'm not doing that today. So this is not really a uh, pure tutorial video. This is more like just a private, uh, a peek into my, uh, my private session as you watch me play, play around my beard and find out what I'm going to do as I go along. All right. So the range I have to work with, with my wall trimmers, that's what I'm using, uh, wall detail trimmers. They're about $35 uh, for this set at uh, Walgreens. Sure, you can pick them up just about anywhere. And uh, it comes with eight different guards and some other secondary guards I don't ever use. A pair of scissors, a few combs, uh, but the guards number one through eight. <coughs> with number one, number one being the smallest is like a one eighth of an inch or a three millimeter guard, okay? I, I will be using this at some point. Um, and the eight, number eight is the largest guard they have, which is like a 25 millimeter or a one inch guard. Now I'll, I'll kind of, uh, you know, remind you of what these are as I go along. Now, now, in one of my videos about how I saved my beard, and that's what it was called. I think it was called just how I saved my beard. I had, I had used a number five guard, which today... I plan on going no shorter than that, but I could go down to that short, okay? It's a really clean, nice look. You can go back and look at that video and see for yourself. And I talked about how I did it. I just didn't demonstrate it there in that video. Number five guard is a 16 millimeter. If I'm looking at it right, yeah, 16 millimeter or five eighths of an inch guard, okay? But I could, I could just use a number eight. I could go down to seven or six, but I plan on going no lower, lower than five. So here's what I do, and uh, this is a little unorthodox because uh, I can guarantee you oh, there's a lot of guys out there watching this who trim their beards, who, who make videos about how to do it. They're going to look at this and go, no, don't do it that way. But I've done this, <laughs> I've done this so many times that I kind of know what to do. And even if I was to mess it up, I know how to still make it look good. All right. So here we go. Here, I'm going to use the number eight. I've got the number eight guard on. All right. I'm going to go straight in, down to the bottom. I'm going to take down to the bottom of my chin. See how much to go over there? Not that much. I know my, this thing is really loud. I probably need to tighten the screw on it. Okay, so you can see it's quite a bit shorter. This is not a finished product, of course, but um, here we go. I just kind of just went straight in, but that's not how I'm gonna leave it. What I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go down and wrap it underneath because I don't want the hairs uh, uh, just to stick out straight quite like that. I want to kind of curve a little bit.
Okay. So that's what I have. Let me kind of go back over it just a little bit. Yeah, I think I might leave it at number eight. Okay, show you off my shirt. That did take off a lot. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna have, actually, while I'm, while I'm here at this, I'm gonna go ahead and establish a neckline. I'm gonna go straight back here. I do have several different ways I, I create a neckline, but with this one, what I'm gonna try to do, and I may modify it, I'm just gonna try to go in and then straight across straight across both ways, but it's subject to change. Okay, that's the neckline. I'll shave, I'll clean it up with the razor here in a minute. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take off some of these strays around here to kind of even it up. Now what I'm trying to do is just now all I'm trying to do is is, is create some symmetry. Okay. Yeah, that's looking pretty good. Even on both sides here, literally the, my, my uh, line, I think looks pretty good on both sides. I can't really see as I'm looking, I mean, you're seeing a different angle than I am, but I'm turning my side mirror. Yeah, I don't wanna change really anything there. So this is this is what I've got right here, and um, I don't want this. I don't want too. I don't want this puffing out too much to where it looks weird, to where it looks like I've got marbles in my cheeks. Um, so what I'm trying to do is just try, trying to bring it down level like this, so that um, it doesn't look, you know, unusual or unnatural. Well, I mean, at this point, all I'm really doing. Like I said, this is not a tutorial, guys. You're just kind of watching me do this. All I'm going to do is, is just continue to clean up and try to add symmetry.
And I want you to notice too, when I'm doing this, I'm trying to keep this, these teeth pointed down as much as possible. Okay, instead of going straight in, just point them down as much as possible. And see, I don't really have to do too much here because this is all even. All right, this is all even right through here. All I'm, you know, is the only place where this makes a difference where I have to do most of the work is on the sides because the sides I was trimming kind of a while back anyway. So they went, they were growing at a different rate. Um, I just got to keep it all from looking strange. Now, what I'm going to do next after I get through doing this little bit right here is my mustache. But let me just do a double check. And here's the thing, you're, you're going to notice I'm, I'm not fading in a whole lot. I don't like fades that much with a beard. I like a beard to look full. Regardless of its length, I like it to look full. So um, I tend not to fade the cheeks. I will the sideburns to some degree, but very little. Um, but I, I just typically don't like fades. So you won't see me doing that right around here like a lot of guys do. I like a nice, full, even look all the way around. So... I don't want to, I, I've got to take off so little here. I've got to be careful because it, it would be easy to mess up. And if I messed up, I just have to go a guard shorter. Okay. I don't think I really want to do more than that. Okay. So now what I've got is I've got sort of a rounded look right here. I don't want a straight line here and a straight line here for this sort of a beard. I know some guys go for that, but I just don't want straight in and straight down. Um, it's just not me. I like a little more rounded off, okay? And that's what using the guard provides for me. And I do that when I take it and I just wrap it right underneath. I wrap all the way around. And I'm really kind of surprised. I thought the number eight was going to be um, leave it a little bit longer. I'm not disappointed. Um, I just seems like I remember, and I probably remember wrongly. Seems like I remember in the past it just seeming a little bit longer, but maybe that was just because of the length, the, the contrast of the length of the beard I had before I did it. I don't know. So let me start off with my mustache. Now the mustache here, I could leave it this way. I could. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a number three. I'm going to take a number three. Now, keep in mind here, guys, when I've been doing this, I haven't been going against the grain. You can go against the grain, but it's going to look different. It's going to look, it's going to look shorter, you know. Um, I like a more natural look, so I went with the grain. I'm going to do the same thing with the number three. Like I said, the, rat the rattling that you hear is I probably need to tighten up the screw on the side. That's here, but I just haven't done it. But uh, just bear with me here. It still works just fine. Okay, I didn't really do much. That's fine. What I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to uh, uh, trim around the lip line, and then decide what I want to do with it. If there's anything else I want to do with it. Now I'm going to have to lean forward a little bit to do this, so I don't know how much of my face is going to be off the frame, but um, you'll see the finished product regardless. Here I go. I need my brush. You know, I did this one other time. I did, here I go. I did this one other time when I made a, 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 a mustache trimming video. I forgot to bring my brush out. And uh, I was fighting hair in my mouth the whole entire time. So, yeah, I got rid of most of the hair. I had hair all over my shirt. But let me double check my mustache. Okay, let me go back over it a little, again, a little bit again.
Okay, that's pretty much where I want it. I want it just above a little bit above the lip line, but I'm gonna take off a few longer hairs on the very top, but just on the very top. And this is very delicate. Yeah, that's what, that's that's where I want it. Okay, now the only other thing I'm gonna do at this point, maybe go on the front of this right here. Double check this, comb back through it. I use a different comb, finer tooth comb. Now that my beard is shorter, I can use a finer tooth a lot easier. Okay. Okay. I don't want to do too much more. Try and curve it down a little bit. Looks pretty good. My hair tends to grow. For some reason, my hair and my chin tends to grow like, like this way. So it almost has this illusion that this side is longer than this one, but it's really not. Um, but if I want to double check, it won't hurt to put the number eight back on and just hit that again. Okay, now what I'm going to do is um, shave the neckline, clean it up, maybe hit this mustache a little more. All right, now all that's left to do is I'm going to wet this right here. I'm gonna wet this. I'm gonna add some of this um, uh, I usually use conditioner. I don't have it handy on me right now, but there's like this shape cream that I've been trying for this company. I don't think exists any longer. I'm gonna put it on here. It's actually pretty nice too. But uh, yeah, put it on there. Better if I use hot water. Okay, here I go. All right. 
Got so much hair on me, it's gonna be it's gonna take a little bit just to get it all off. All right, let me rinse it off. I don't go for real hard lines when I do this. But, you know, it's still, you know, you, you, I have a line, I just don't, I don't do hard lines, real hard lines. You know, a lot of guys like that when they go to the barber shop. I'm just not one of those guys. So, there you have that, have that. Now, do the cheek line. I've talked about this in other videos likewise. I normally do this when I shave my head. I'm not shaving my head today. I could. I should probably. I'll probably do that another day or two. But just for the right, just so you guys know how to do this, how I do it, I'll do the cheek line. I've already got one kind of established, so I'm just going to kind of hit it a little bit. And then what I do is I line this up with my nose, between my nose and my, where I want my beard to go. Turn it backwards, shave up. Put my hand up there to guard it. So I don't go down too low. Same thing the other side. That is that. Now guys, I know I'm not talking a lot. I know there's a lot I'm not saying. Like I said, this is not a, 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 a tutorial in, in its pure sense of the word here. This is just a, a look, a peek into my you know, private session of mine. And what I'm gonna do now is I am going to brush back through my beard to kind of get any remaining hairs out. And it's slightly damp, slightly damp from the hair on my neck and on my cheek. So this would be a good time to put in beard oil. And uh, I'm going to use Artius Man's Three Wood Beard Oil, which I think is their best smelling beard oil. It's amazing. And, um, there we go. This right here. And uh, I don't know where I got a cat with really long white hair. I was wondering where that came from. Okay, so there, a little bit of that. I may have put too much in because I'm not I'm not uh not used my beard being this short in a while. Run it throughout the beard. To help moisturize it and i will i will put a link in the description box below so you'll know how you can get your artist man uh beard products that have beard butter oils balms washes conditioners everything anything you think of and you can save 20 percent by using my code so make sure you look down below all right guys i'm just going to uh after this dries i will put uh some beard balm in and that will be that and this is my summer beard I mean, I guess you could call it that, shorter. My summer beard. And uh, I, can, I can live with this for a while. One of the things that kind of motivates this is I have to wear a mask when I donate plasma, and I can never walk out with a nice looking beard when I've been wearing any kind of covering over it for a while. I just, it's ruined the rest of the day. This will make it a little bit easier. It's not my only motivation, but it was one of them. So guys, I know this is a longer than normal video, but uh, I hope you've gotten something out of it. I hope it's uh, useful to you. Once again, 
I thought I was going to go down to as short as a number five guard. I didn't. I stuck with a number eight. And, um, and uh, yeah, this is, I, I didn't go any lower than that. I'm really surprised, actually. Really surprised. So this is what probably what I'll be wearing for a little while. Here's my shy, side shots. All right, there you have it. If you have any questions, ask me in the comment box below. Maybe I'll make a separate video about all your questions. So keep that in mind. All right, guys, that's a wrap. I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, hit the like button, subscribe, visit all my other videos too while you're at it, and uh, I will see you in the next one. Have a great day, guys. Bye-bye.